All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to be talking about interviews a little bit more in details. So they're going to be asking you other questions like, what is your expertise? What are you good at? So you can pretty much say a few things. I'm a good listener. I'm a good team leader, influencing, fine-tuning any type of project, streamlining a project is definitely one of my assets. So very short and sweet and get to the point. They want to hear that you're a team builder and willing to work with others. So they don't really care if you have all the expertise or even all the degrees in the world. They care if you are a good listener, if you're willing to work with others, and if you're willing to share your ideas and cooperate with others in a better fashion. That's the bottom line. Now, the other thing they're going to ask you is, what are your strengths and weaknesses? All right, strength, you can pretty much boil it up and make it very really simple. My strengths are good in communication. I'm a team player. I'm very patient. I'm willing to take the stand. I'm the first that's always initiating in any type of project. That, that are my, that's my strength in general. Now, weaknesses, you don't really want to say exactly what your weaknesses are but you, because you, can, you don't want to say, I don't have any weaknesses because everybody has it. I mean, don't get me wrong. So, weaknesses, you can pretty much say my weaknesses is being too much involved in a project, too multitask type of person, I would say. But you want to tell them that even though you've become too multitask, tell them how you've been able to resolve that or help you lessen that up. So you can say, I... Been more a multitask person. I've been putting my viewpoint on it, on subject A, B, and C. But now what I'm doing is prioritizing. I am having an agenda book where I do step A followed by step B, step C. I'm following a, a step flow chart in such a way. So it's I'm actually helping my weaknesses go away in such a better format. So those are some of the things that they're going to be asking you in a nutshell. But again, you want to be very sweet, you want to be very concrete, you want to be very bold. You want to take charge as well. Because you know what's going to happen? The interview person is going to be yapping their mouths off. And you don't, you, want, you don't want to do that. You don't want to interrupt as well. But you want to look like you are in charge. You want to look at that person in the eye. Engage a little bit. Don't be like, yeah, 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 I know what you're saying. I mean, that's nonsense. Everybody can do that. But actually listen to what the questions are. And whatever question they ask, don't try to give it right away because that kind of ruins it because you're thinking too fast. Try to digest the question in a better format. That's definitely my suggestion that you want to go ahead and, and do. But the best thing gonna the last thing I'm gonna ask you is why do we feel you're an asset to the company? What are you gonna bring to the table? Now you wanna say that I, I believe I will be a better candidate than the rest of the teammates because I have a better strategy in bringing solutions to a better format. I'm great at streamlining products. I will bring a positive energy vibe to your teammates. And I will be the first to take the lead in any type of projects. And I'm always the first to be recognized in any of my past projects. And if you want to be really bold, you can even show them a recommended re recommended letter from your prior boss or any prior project. So they really know you're not BSing them. So that's basically my suggestions for you. And of course, there's many things you can talk about. But... Last but not least, you want to ask them the last question is, and in your company, what are the things that are hurting you or what are the weaknesses that you see in your company, et cetera, et cetera. And they'll talk about it a little bit and just give them your concrete, you know, tell them that in your position that you know how to f facilitate some of those, those challenges. And if they ask you, what are your, where do you see yourself the next five years or what are your goals and desires in the next five years? You want to tell them that you see yourself in a better leadership type of person. You see yourself as a manager, someone who's going to influence a team, and much more. Show them that you have drive, that you want to go somewhere in life. You just don't want to collect a paycheck. So that's what my suggestion is. And also what I re recommend you guys do is if you want to be more bold and learn how to talk to people in a better format is go ahead and read some books. And one of the books I 
definitely recommend you guys is this book, which I've been reading for quite some time now. This book will give you a, a better mythology of how to speak with people from any type of, of levels and any type of field. It's a great book. It's short. It's easy to read. It's how to talk to anyone. 92 little things to for being successful in a relationship. And the author is Leo Lauders. Good stories and I highly recommend. Anyways, this is pretty much done with my my session today. Now, if you guys have any comments or suggestions, go ahead and write it down below. And I highly recommend you guys also subscribe to this channel. And if you'd like to learn more about our program and much more, check us out on, on our website at www.inspireyourmind.org. Till then, thank you so much. Inspire your mind. Peace.